Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is a look at a really cool looking e-bike. It's been about for a bit, but I'd like to use it to make a point. Well, I don't really class it as an e-bike myself. It's a light electric vehicle. It's got three wheels for stability and it will keep you dry and warm. You can also carry quite a bit of cargo with it. The only reason it's classed as an e-bike is because it's forced to meet Britain's asinine and counterproductive e-bike laws. So consequently, it's restricted to a 250 watt hub motor and a maximum assisted speed of 15.5 miles an hour. This is not something that can be ridden on the edge of the road. Can you imagine meeting one of these in a car? The conflicts are gonna be enormous. You're gonna get people in SUVs crawling all over the back of them in urban areas trying to pass and be aggressive. It's the same SUV driving folks that are making up the e-bike rules. This is not an e-bike. It's a brilliant light electric vehicle that has huge potential if it was not so crippled by regulations. There is no real reason why a vehicle like this could not have a 1500 watt or more for a motor. Hills are a thing. There's no reason why this kind of vehicle could not be ridden with traffic. Perhaps, and here's a shocking idea, maybe cars could be reduced in speed in urban areas, which would save lots of fuel. Vehicles like this could be made a bit quicker and better regulated, and surely this would reduce conflict. Not only that, but there would be dozens of companies that would innovate like this mainly because they would have a guaranteed market. If we are actually serious about addressing the issues of pollution and carbon emissions, these are the vehicles to do it with. The idea that the only way forward for societies is to drive around in two-turn metal boxes is just stupid. Things like this can transform our cities if we just free them from the shackles of outdated and unfit regulations. Instead, SUV driving politicians across the board that have never even sat on an e-bike or used a light electric vehicle seek to punish people using them. Police time is wasted taking vehicles off people that are simply trying to make a living. And I don't know about anybody else, but I would much rather the police look into the corruption and vested interests of our ruling class than removing an e-bike from an Uber Eats worker who is struggling to make ends meet in the current cost of living crisis. In London and the UK, they've now massively expanded the low emission zone, so they penalise people for using cars. Why not legislate to enable this kind of vehicle with zero point of use emissions? Stop making life hard for people. Stop taking their money with stupid taxes that don't actually make a difference. Enable and empower people. Build trust. There is no sensible reason why we can't have vehicles like this move at 30 miles an hour under electric power and have proper safety and licensing to do it. None except the people making the rules would rather make e-bikes into another bloody culture war, which is exactly what's going on in the UK. People are being manipulated with scare stories in rags like the Sun and Daily Mail, which are not fit for toilet paper. Lots of people could save so much money with these. The only people to lose are those which have vested interests in the status quo. Sadly, that status quo also includes e-bike companies like Bosch, who are terrified of losing their monopolies. The people that will benefit the most from this kind of vehicle are going to be lower income people. So why are all the laws made to benefit people with cars, even though we know that replacing all the current cars with electric ones is a road to ruin? Anyway, I guess this kind of turned into a bit of a ranty video. Hopefully things are starting to change with regards to this kind of vehicle. It's a great design. It's just heartbreaking that it's so crippled by the short sightedness of the current regulations. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Feel free to disagree, but just keep it clean. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.